Meet the Cobra from Ford's Performance Corner. It's the hot one for 1969. Cobra, Ford's new king of the road. With racing style hood latches to hold down its 428 Cobra Jet V8. Cobra, born in the heat of competition at places like Riverside, Daytona, where when we win, you win. Cobra, high performance at the lowest price in Ford's performance corner. Cobra for 1969, new king of the road. Waiting for you at your Ford dealers now. Cobra, watch it. This one eats birds for breakfast. Bright Young America is introduced to Ford's new 1969 Torino. Sometimes you have to listen twice. Hey, the Torino has a new 428 mil. I hear the power anchors are caliper discs. They're saying Torino 69 has a new 428 cubic inch engine and that you can get power front wheel disc brakes. Looks like a groovy California rake job. Wiped out the back of Riverside last year. They're saying the profile is lean, eager looking, and that specially modified Torino's won the first five spots in one of last year's big races. Adjustable shocks. And wide ovals. You don't have to know all the words when Torino provides the music. Torino 69 in the performance corner at your Ford dealers. Ford gives you better winner like Torino. The stability and smoother ride you get from a longer wheelbase or even sophisticated dual hydraulic system brakes. You may not need a car as comfortable as a Torino or as dashing. But isn't it nice to know it's all there? The road may seem like a jungle filled with all sorts of strange creatures, bugs and birds and cats and fish. And just maybe the time has come to clear the way. Here's the one to do it. Cobra, new king of the road. Cobra. The big reason that Ford has a corner on performance this year. Cobra, brought up in a tough neighborhood at places like Darlington and Atlanta and Riverside. Powered by a 428 Cobra Jet V8. Cobra, as much at home on its way to the supermarket as it is on its way to a checkered flag. Cobra, high performance at the lowest price in Ford's performance corner. Cobra, new king of the road. Clear the way. Torino, 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 1969. Choose from six V8s. Out of Ford's performance corner comes better ideas, pure engineering owned and fired in the white heat of competition. Torino 1969, with six models, including the two-door hardtop, the sporty convertible, and the high-performance sports roof. Torino, it moves you. It can roar as well as whisper. It'll race a hole in the wind. Torino, when we win, you win. See Torino 1969 in the performance corner at your Ford dealers. The place you gotta go to see what's going on.
Maverick is the first car of the 70s. And it sells for 1960 prices? You gotta be kidding. Nope. Well, now, you, you pay extra for this fancy upholstery, don't you? Nope. Well, how about this thick padding? The headrest, the courtesy lights, the armrest, the safety belts. Aren't they extra cost? Nope. The sporty flipper windows, the backup lights, the side view mirror, the window washers, the self-adjusting brakes, the special rust proofing and soundproofing. Don't you pay extra for them? Nope. Well, now, how about the all sinker mesh transmission? Nope. The special 170 cubic inch engine that gives great pickup and great gas mileage? Extra cost, right? Nope. The 1970 Maverick. Can I see it at Ford and Mercury dealers? Yep. For 69, Ford presents the going thing. LTD, more car than anything in its class. Mustang in new hot Mach 1 and cool grande. And Torino, back with more winners for 69 at your Ford dealers. Ford gives you better ideas. Ford gives you better ideas. This isn't exactly how it was done, but when Ford set out to make the 1969 LTD the newest new luxury car of the year, they created an entirely new interior with more room for the passenger and re-engineered the controls and instrumentation for the driver. See the big front room in the new 1969 LTD at your Ford dealers. Hi, gang. The small imported foreign car dealers of America have asked me to welcome to their ranks the new Ford Maverick. So, aloha, Maverick! Maverick symbolizes friendly competition to them. They're, they're looking forward to it and backward to the time when they didn't have it. <laughs> they know Maverick is tough. And the price? <laughs> That's why they sent it flowers. Here. And Maverick has the power to run onto the freeway and to run off the freeway and to make hairpin turns and to make bobby pin turns and all kinds of turns with freeways and parkways and they use a minimum of gasoline. So they say, howdy, Maverick. They're overjoyed, they're ecstatic, and they're panic-stricken. <laughs> Remember how your first Mustang made life more delicious? So, how about a second helping? A 1969 Mustang. Sportier than ever, roomier than ever, longer than ever. My Mustang has four on the floor. What's the matter? Didn't they like the bucket seats? And whatever your mood, Mustang matches it. Go all out luxury in the new Grande. If a 33 real married a 69 Mustang Grande, what if we called a Mustang Real Grande? Go high performance in the new Mach 1, available with a 428 Cobra Jet V8. Nakatu. At your four dealers now, Mustang 1969. Very interesting. And also very unaccountable, Kumo called. Ecumone. Inexpensive. Ford gives you better ideas. Ford gives you better ideas. Mm -hmm. If you're old enough to remember D-Day, you may recall this famous wartime ad campaign. There is a Ford in your future. When the war was over, car production resumed. And it wasn't long before the first post-war Ford appeared as promised. Seeing the 1946 now, it's hard to believe that this one would evolve into the 1969 Ford. Beautiful, quiet, luxurious. The Ford LTD for 1969 now sells more than all its competition combined. Another Ford in the promised future, then, was this Woody. Its convenience, room, and wood-accented good looks set the pattern that has made Ford the wagon master of the industry. XGIs and millions more who've now become country squires with their own armies of wives, children, and pets couldn't get along without their Ford country squires. 
Those who remember D-Day may also recall this Mustang, the P-51 fighter. But no one thinks of Mustang as an airplane now, not until they drive one, like the Mach 1. For millions, when they think of a car, only Mustang makes it happen. Le Mans, the pinnacle of European sports car racing. In 1966, a Ford GT40 scored America's first Le Mans victory and followed it up with two more Ford wins in the next two years. At home, the stock car circuit bowed to Ford's specially modified performance champion, the Torino Cobra, the hottest version of a whole new Ford line. Torino is taking over the intermediate field. And since we've always acted like Mavericks, it was probably inevitable we'd build one. Only 1995. Maverick has sporty good looks, great gas economy, flat interiors, plenty of leg room front and back, and power to move onto freeways. That's Maverick. Judging by the response, Maverick is our newest, better idea. Today, as always, we hope there is a Ford in your future. One thing sure, a test drive at your Ford dealers will convince you, this year more than ever, there's a lot more future in your Ford. Ford